Hiya. This is the next stage uh, in my order for the Hotel de France, uh, doing the cups and saucers that they've commissioned me. So this is part of what came out of the kiln this morning. Um, and I've, I've done all my planning, so I know where each piece is going to be in, in the kiln when I fire it. It's quite a big kiln, and if I don't do this, you just end up with things that don't fit in. You end up handling things much more than you need to when they're glazed, and this is always just a risky process. So now I'm going to do the next preparation stage, which is waxing the parts of the pots that aren't going to have glaze on them. So the bases, but in the case of these mugs, uh, there's not glaze on the whole bottom third of it. So in order that that happens neatly, I'm going to use a latex resist that's painted on. So in fact, I'm going to start doing this. I've got my latex. I'm going to do the first bit by hand because that little half moon that I cut out I want to be glazed. So now having traced that around the edge, I'm gonna, ah, I won't speak with my paintbrush in my mouth. I would normally apply the latex on the mug the other way up, but just in case I dribble, it won't matter if it goes downwards, whereas if it was rimmed down, it would matter. So there we go. I'm giving myself a little margin because when I dip this into the glaze, I'm going to hold it like this and then empty it and dip it beyond the point where I want the glaze to stop. So that's one. Oh, another 24 of these to go. So here I am. I've waxed or put my, my latex on all these um, mugs. I've stirred my glaze bucket already very thoroughly by hand, or using my hand, not just the stick. And I've also, I've also measured its density with a hydrometer. Um, and I use a lot of glazes and so I don't rely just on what the glaze looks like on my finger which is the classic way that potters test because my glazes are all very different and also I find that I can't use the same thickness of glaze if I'm glazing a small object that's quickly in and out of the glaze or an object that's going in much more slowly, a big object because it's so much longer in the glaze I'm going to have to dilute the glaze. Okay, so stir between every mug. I'm going to pour it in about two thirds full and now I'm going to rotate it and dip about halfway down so it covers my half moon. Take it out and just let it drip and you can see it's, it's stopped really cleanly at my waxed line. <laughs> 